Hi, this is Dr. Vaibhav Vaidya. I'm a cardiology fellow at Mayo Clinic, Rochester, Minnesota. And I'm Tiffany Hu, a fourth year medical student at Mayo Clinic, Rochester. We are here to introduce our review entitled Reversing Anticoagulant Effects of Novel Oral Anticoagulants, the Role of Siraparantag and Dexanet Alpha and Idarucizumab. The use of novel oral anticoagulants, or NOACs, is increasing in clinical practice, but the lack of a commercially available reversal agent remains a major barrier for more mainstream use of these therapies. Specific antidotes are in development for NOAC reversal in the event of life-threatening bleeding or the need for emergent surgery. Idarucizumab is a novel humanized mouse monoclonal antibody that binds the bigotran with high affinity. It works by binding free and thrombin bound to bigotran and sequestering it in the intravascular space for eventual renal elimination. Idarucizumab is administered by intravenous boluses and has a half-life of about 45 minutes. Interim analysis of a phase three clinical trial, reverse AD, with a five gram infusion of idarucizumab showed normalized dilute thrombin time in 98% of patients with life-threatening bleeding and 93% in patients requiring an emergent procedure within eight hours. Serum Parentag, or PAR977, is a small synthetic molecule that universally binds direct 10A inhibitors, direct thrombin inhibitors, and unfractionated as well as low molecular weight heparin. There is less data on its mechanism of action. Preliminary studies in healthy patients anticoagulated with adoxaban showed restoration of baseline hemostasis within 10 to 30 minutes after administration of serum parentag. Effects were sustained for 24 hours. Finally, indexinate alpha is a recombinant and inactivated form of factor 10A that binds factor 10A inhibitors, low molecular weight heparin, and fondaparinox. It also increases the plasma concentration of bound factor 10A. And dexanet alpha may require intravenous infusion in addition to IV bolus, as bolus effects are immediate but last in one to two hours. In healthy patients anticoagulated with apixaban, anti-factor 10A activity decreased by 94% in two minutes. All three antidotes received breakthrough therapy designation by the FDA for expedited review and idarucizumab was FDA-approved in October 2015. Though procoagulant adverse effects have not been observed clinically, both siraparantag and andexanet alpha have been found to increase certain procoagulant lab markers. This will require further investigation. Once approved, these antidotes will serve as an important tool for, incre for an increasing population of patients on NOAC therapy, filling yet another unmet need. Thank you.